Sister Star here from the Fast Friday. Today we're at Arby's for something new. Normally I would have a drink from Sonic because I have a Sonic right next to my Arby's, but it is past four o'clock so I missed out on their happy hour. Sponsor me Sonic though, I'm always talking about you. I do hope you're having a great Friday because I'm super excited for this weekend and next week because the cruise is finally here. We are leaving the 8th, coming back the 15th. It is a seven day cruise. We have never been on one. I am so excited. We will definitely be vlogging, so look out for that. And I've already made my checklist, I believe, of everything I need. Future self editing this. <laughs> Print off the boarding pass and the luggage tags. I'm ready to leave this cold weather because in this week it's been in like the 40s. Today's the hottest day of the week at 54, so I am still freezing. I'm ready to get into some 70 and 80 degree weather in December. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by, and if you end up liking what you see today, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you know my videos go live. So today is the Arbonator. The Arbonator has roast beef, cheese sauce, horsey sauce, Arby sauce, and curly fries, all in the same sandwich. Or in other words, it is the most Arby sandwich Arby's has ever made. It's available in classic, double, and half pound sizes, and today I just got the classic, which is the smallest, because I don't, I don't need all that extra. And just for the sandwich itself, it's going to be $4.29, and so the double is $5.29, the half pound will be $6.29, and if you want to make it a combo, here it is a $2.30 extra. It comes in this box, it is marked as special, so let me go ahead and bring you in for a close up. Here is Arby's Classic Arbonator. We have some cheese sauce action going on top, which is, I, I don't think it's supposed to be like that, but we have the sesame, whatever bun it said, or just a classic bun, I guess. Oh, goodness. So there's about three curly fries on here since it is the smaller one. I always, if I do get their like beef and cheddar, just normal sandwich, I always get extra cheese on the side so I can put more on because I'm a cheesy gal and that's just not enough for me. But we have the roast beef here. The sauces are down in there. I've never, I don't know if I've had Arby sauce, but I know like the horseradish one is the horsey sauce, I believe. I'm not gonna be a big fan of that, but let's just see how it all mixed together. Let's get this in my mouth. Yeah, flip it to this side because there's some sauce here. It's half the meat's like came out of this, so it's not ideal. Oh. Oh. not much of a close-up action cheese curly fry the meat some of the sauce is just kind of back here I guess I feel like this is nothing special it's essentially something you just make yourself if you get like their classic beef and cheddar and get some extra cheese for yourself and get their Arby sauce and horsey sauce and you have it I don't know if it'd be cheaper that way how much the normal sandwiches go and how much um, getting the fries would be but Apparently the horsey sauce, as I already thought, yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> so I, I would not get this again. And just having fries for me on this is just kind of weird. I know some people like to put potato chips on their sandwiches and stuff. If you're that type of person, you would like this. And if you like Arby sauce and horsey sauce, you're gonna like this, but it's just not for me. I do like the cheese on it, of course, and the roast beef is always pretty delicious but those extra sauces are just something I don't like. Also, the sauce isn't like evenly distributed throughout it, so if you want more of that flavor, maybe do get some extra sauce to make sure all your bites contain that sauce. Let me know if this is something that you would like to try, and if you have tried it, let me know down in the comments what you thought about it. And I hope you all have a great weekend and week coming up. Obviously, there's not gonna be any Sarah Star Saturday nights tomorrow because I'm not gonna be here. And I don't know about streaming too well because we're not going to get Wi-Fi on the cruise. So I'm going to be out of social media for a week. 
save me. <laughs> I want to thank y'all so much for watching. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye!